All right, so chat GPT. So how exactly can you implement this software, which is an artificially in, artificial intelligence AI driven software? How do you actually use this to sell more food online? Well, this video is gonna be actually one in 10. We're gonna do a series on 10 different ways that I actually personally for my own online businesses have started using chat GPT software to incorporate into my food business. And it allows me to sell an increasingly larger amount of food. I'm going to show you how this works and actually give you an example with my laptop open. And we're going to dive into how chat GPT is changing and going to eventually revolutionize how food is actually sold online. We're going to get to that right now. All right, guys, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. So it is Damien Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. So I wanted to dive into uh, a, a new a topic. It's actually not new. It's been around probably for about three or four months now, but it's extremely uh, talked about here on YouTube, but of course, everywhere else in between. But ChatGPT, which is an AI software created by OpenAI, which is a software engineering company, if I'm not mistaken, uh, of which, by the way, uh, Microsoft just dumped, I think, $10 billion dollars into research R&D, research and development for uh, this open uh, artificial intelligence software. How does all that play into selling food, Damien? And why should I watch this video from beginning to end? Well, there is a lot of ways that you can utilize the software for your food business or selling any type of food online, or even just doing research on an idea for a food product. ChatGPT is literally like this open brain of information that pulls from everywhere online uh, but I'm actually going to show you one in particular, this video, if you're going to sell a food product online, if it's on Amazon, you're going to sell it on eBay or sell it on Etsy, you need to create an amazing product description. This video specifically is going to be how I actually use it myself. Uh, we have over 300 items on Amazon. We've got stores on eBay. We have stores on Etsy. I've been online for 14 years selling food. Um, and every single one of those have to have a title. They have to have keywords. They have a really good product description to entice customers to actually buy your food product. So this chat GPT, which I'm going to show you an example, um, how this works can literally show you what you should write and how you can create a persuasive product description for your food product. Now, the trick to this and the key to actually making this work effectively and really truly making it work so it can do it correctly is how you word your questions, okay? Now, this video in particular, like I said, is gonna be one of 10. If you wanna stick with me for the next uh, nine other videos, I'm gonna show you other ways that you can use this technology to more precisely sell your food product. So this one in particular, let's dive into a product description. So I'm right here on my laptop. I've got it open and my screen is recording so I, want, I can convey this information to you. I wanna show you guys how this works. So as an example, Let's say um, I, we actually, one of our best selling products is actually chocolate covered pretzels. So I'm going to say write, I have to spell it correctly, of course. You want to write a persuasive, sorry for my spelling here, I'm rushing through this. Persuasive, yeah, that's not right. All right, there you go. Persuasive product description of 500 words for chocolate chocolate there we go covered pretzel <clears throat> rods all right now watch how this works include any selling points to persuade a customer to buy from me now before I hit the let's go ahead and hit the go button you can watch this while this is doing it all right, so this can be used for barbecue sauces. It can be used for hot sauces. It can be used if you're selling. It doesn't matter what the actual product is that you're selling. Let me move that over here. It doesn't matter really what the product is. It's really how you word it. So as you watch this thing, and it's actually creating it as I'm here, it's literally give it about five or six seconds and it's literally done. This will create product descriptions because I know many of you are food entrepreneurs. You're not exactly copyright writers. It's very difficult to entice someone to buy a product, especially when other sellers have really great product descriptions. And they're very enticing, very persuasive about what their product description is. And it just, it's going on. You could specify the word count. 
as I did here, right at the top, you see this part right here. You can specify the word count. You can ask it to create or elaborate on specific features of your product. If you're selling a protein bar, um, you can specifically talk about the types of proteins you use, maybe elaborate more on the ingredients to entice any customer to buy your product. And it's fascinating that the more information that you ask it within the question, the more specific information it's going to spit back to you and give to you. This has the capacity to really change your online e-commerce business. You don't have to go to Fiverr to pay somebody to actually write a product description for you. You can do this yourself. I actually did. I wish I knew this about three months ago because I paid someone $70 to write one particular product review, uh, product description, sorry. Um, and believe it or not, it was okay. Um, it wasn't exactly something that was amazing, but I paid 70 bucks for it. You don't have to do that. If you want to research also, another thing that we're going to cover in the other videos, and I'll get to this really quick. I'll show you what we've got here, what, what actually showed up. I'll look at how amazing this is, this whole thing right here. So from this point, and let me get right back to my other point. This one, you simply copy it and paste it. Take it and go right over to your Amazon listing, go to your eBay listing, whatever it may be, but it's an elaborate description of your product and written in a persuasive way to get them to buy it. You know, that's the trick and one of the challenges of getting people to convert to buyers online is your images, the explanation of what the product is, how descriptive or persuasive it could be. So this chat GPT has the capabilities to create that for you. You do it for free too. By the way, you can just create an account. It doesn't cost anything to do this yet. Hopefully they don't monetize it out, to the, out of the question to it's not reachable by everybody or accessible by everybody. Um, but you definitely can create anything. So let me go through this really quick. This is amazing. So the product that we chose, just as an example, were chocolate pretzels. So you can indulge in the perfect combination of sweet and salty with our chocolate covered pretzel rods. Made with only the finest ingredients, our pretzel rods are made from freshly baked crispy pretzels that are then hand dipped in rich creamy chocolate blah, 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 blah. Um, our covered chocolate pretzels are perfect for any occasion. They make a great gift, one for loved ones. See, one of the best selling points of our chocolate pretzels is a wide variety of flavors. All of this is in a persuasive context. So that allows you to entice your customer to do it. And I keep, I keep uh, emphasizing this point because it's so crucial that if you're wanting to sell anything online, if you're on Shopify, this, it doesn't matter where you actually copy and paste this. You can put this on any one of your platforms. And if you wanted to, you could actually take it and put it on eBay. If you got the same product on Etsy or maybe your Shopify store, copy and paste it and put it there. Now, next up, keywords. So when you create a product listing, there, there's, there's four specific areas that are crucial to whether or not it's going to get found in search on Amazon, whether it gets found in search on eBay, Google, Etsy, whatever. Number one, your title. Number two, your keywords. You actually have a section dedicated to keywords for that specific product. Next up, your description. And then finally, your images. Okay, so those four things being to come together in order for it to get found and then also for people to be enticed enough to buy it. If you're on Amazon and there's 50 people selling chocolate chip cookies, what's going to separate your chocolate chip cookies? The actual description and the enticement that you're going to create for your customers. And if that's not there, then you're probably not going to sell your product. Okay, so let me show you really quick keywords. Create 15 keyword sets for chocolate pretzels for my e-commerce business. Sorry about that. And of course, I'm just rushing through. Bingo. All right. So let me move this up. Here we go. Let me see what this actually comes up with. And I believe it's going to spit out a handful of keyword sets. <laughs> Because when you're creating your listing, you want to make sure all of these kind of encompass the same things. Okay, so here it goes. It's going to give me 15 keyword sets. Again, I want to go back to it's important on how you word the question to get a definitive answer that's really going to be useful for you, not just some randomness. So when you do this, sit down and take a few minutes to kind of brainstorm how you want to word the question, because that's going to give you a more precise answer. The chat GPT is an amazing AI software, don't get me wrong, but if you create a very vague question, sometimes the answers I get are very vague answers. So the more specific you are, the better off you are. So look at this. I literally have created, number one, an amazing product description to put in. That's one of the four key points. Number two, I've got a list of 15 keywords to describe chocolate pretzels. I mean, I couldn't, honestly, I couldn't come up with all of these myself. And see, here's the thing, is that when you Google this, you're gonna get a lot of, uh, Google actually brings together a lot of search results 
They don't really answer your question. So from those search results, then I have to go through and find a website that has 15 samples of keywords, for instance. This tells you specifically, precisely within a matter of seconds, exactly what you want to know. So there it is. And then these I just copy and paste and put them right into my keyword sets. Now, next up, title. Now, of course, this doesn't generate images. The, the, out of the four key points I said, of course, images is very important. This doesn't generate an image for you. So the three, though, which are really, really more important than the images, are the text, the information, the descriptions, and keywords. So create a title for my chocolate pretzel rods for my e-commerce business. Now, there's a reason why I type in for my e-commerce business, not just some random thing, because I've actually already been tapping into this and it's been helping me create blogs and articles and topics and things. So the way I word it is that I want a title that's not a title for a blog. I want a title that's not one for an article that I'm writing. I need to create it for a product for the pretzel rods and it's on my e-commerce business. That's the reason why I put it in there. Again, more precise, more precise your answer is. So let's do this. Let me see. Uh oh, create a title for my pretzel. So let me, this is where it gets a little glitchy sometimes. Let me refresh the page. Security connection, yada, 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 yada. Okay, here we go. All right. So let me see what it, what it will spit out. And in the meantime, this is going to be, like I said, one of, of 10 videos. So I'm going to show you other ways that you can actually research products, uh, decadent dark chocolate pretzel rods. Okay, cool. So I actually asked it to create a title. So let me do this. I'm going to copy this, and you can ask it to give you a variety. Create 15 different titles. Here we go. This is where the fun starts. This is really cool. But this will give you a variety to choose from. Again, the more specific you are, the more specific the answers will be. So this will create 15 different titles I can put. So you've got your title created. You got keywords made for you in seconds and an entire description, which is amazing, created in just five seconds too. So chat GPT, how do I create a product listing for food and do it for my Amazon store and do it in a creative way that's persuasive and you don't have to be a copyright expert? Chat GPT. All right. So if you have any questions about chat GPT or if the video is helpful, please do give me a big thumbs up. If you have any ideas on how you could use this for your food business, let us know down in the comment section. But stay with us for the next nine videos. I'm going to show you other ways that you can research food products. You can even check demographics. You can ask it so many questions and get some amazing answers. And this will help revolutionize and catapult your food business online. And I'll see you guys on our next video.